We woke up very early on our first morning in the marina in Porto and went out to explore the neighborhood. The nearest little town was São Pedro da Afurada. We strolled around this little Portuguese town with its typical houses with tiled facades and later had lunch at one of the local grill restaurants. Oh, yeah, here they am. Tomato? Mm -hmm. These are nice and fresh, huh? Hey, COVID-19! <laughs> we have... We ate some delicious fresh fish uh, straight on the grill here in the small, small village next to Porto, next to the big city. Oh, it was so delicious. It was so good. I'm so full. We had traveled to Portugal many times before with our camper, but we never stayed this far north, so this was our first time visiting Porto, and I knew we were gonna love it, because we love the Portuguese culture and architecture, and we are also big fans of the port wine. Instead of taking a taxi to the city center, we tried going with our own little taxi boat. We took our dinghy to go upriver and see if we could leave it somewhere near the center. Oh, and the view over the city and the famous Ponte Luiz bridge seen from the water is magnificent. We got permission to tie up our dinghy at the taxi dock, which was right where we needed to be. It was a perfect parking spot in the center of Porto. So we are going to visit a wine winery? A port? A portery. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Uh, going for to taste port? Okay. We are now on the other side of the Douro. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> it was uphill. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> so we are here arrived at Churchill's Port. This is a space which breeds elegance and style serving as a backdrop for the best Churchill's has to offer its wines. Churchill's thinking behind this venture was based upon the philosophy that enjoyment of a glass of port requires a state of well-being for those keen to enhance their knowledge of the Douro region and the history of Churchill's the visitor centers provide a perfect platform tailor-made tastings of our Douro wine and port are offered in our tasting room which has a spectacular view of the Rio Douro Churchill's Visitor Center also offers a rare opportunity for vintage ports tastings, focusing on the singular and unique characteristics of this wine, which is generally considered to be one of the great wines of the world. Experience team of winemakers. Hey, what do you have? Um, cool stuff. Hey, you open them? They're hot. <laughs> I have no. Yeah, of course they're hot. Yep. Mm. I got an ice cream. 
four flavors in the shape of a flower. Wow. Chocolate, dulce de leche, yeah. vanilla, and hazelnut. Wow, and you also have, wow, what a I beautiful have flower. Chocolate. No, wait, what? They didn't put it in the right order. So, what are we doing? We're saving the ocean. Hashtag save the ocean. Oh no. Okay, now take it. Okay. Take it, take it. So guys, look how much trash we found. Uh, we're not done yet. Yeah, everything's dirty. Cause, see what the world does to, to our good nature. Save the nature, guys. Wait. Okay, you pick this. Okay. Okay, don't let it sink. Don't let it sink. It was lovely to see how our kids started to connect more to nature and their environment by living on the water. We found more trash. Hope we save the ocean, clean the ocean, and save our planet. Tin foil. That's the hardest thing, but I'll pick it up. Yeah, pick it up with your hands. Pick that up too. Oh, oh. I just can't reach it. Oh no, it's a bit more to this way. Okay. It, bro. I believe in you. Okay. On their own initiative, they started picking trash from the water. And even though they will not save the entire planet this way, as they like to think, it's definitely a very good start. A sack full of garbage we found uh, in the water. Very good, guys. If we were inside, we wouldn't have got this much. No. Doing a good job. Because we have uh, an oil leak, water oil leak in the sail drive after 50 hours of sail. Maybe we hit some uh, fishing line or uh, something else, but uh, I didn't see. I didn't see it on the way. I didn't hear it. We need to replace the seals, and for that the boat has to go out of the water. So uh, let's see if we can beach. So somewhere over there, we're trying to beach the boat. We found a good spot without any rocks or other obstacles, but the tide did not allow us to beach at that time. And to be honest, I wasn't very sad about it. I had heard that beaching a catamaran is a common thing to do, but I wasn't looking forward to a maneuver like that. So we ended up making an appointment at the shipyard in Portimao, in the south of Portugal, to haul out our boat later. First we would have to wait for the spare parts that Sven had ordered and a favorable weather window to sail south. I was too far, the boat went backwards. I don't know what happened. 
in between here. <laughs> and you, are you next? Colin, no, just to get off. Now a good shower. <laughs> By the end of the week the weather deteriorated and a storm was heading our way. We didn't want to take any risk and didn't want our trip to the south of Portugal to be too unpleasant. So we stayed until we were sure the weather was favorable for us to leave. Hey what happened? <laughs> a little storm and I tried to put some extra fenders on the boat so it just would not hurt the dog like 5 centimeters. Ah, let's hope it passes soon. Okay. You get pretty wet. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> What are you doing this time? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I, uh, I left the window open the storm. And uh, well, the bed is wet. And the bill just because the bilge alarm went off. I thought, what's this? <laughs> Everything is soaked. The mattresses are dripping out. The, the sheets, the cushions, everything is so wet. The bilge pump alarm went off and the bilge starts pumping and we are thinking like, oh, where's the water come from? <laughs> come from, from that window that I left open. In the yeah, morning. it was raining pretty hard for a while now. So now it's so all that's wet. That. Yep. So, we want to leave Porto to go to Portimao because the sail drive seals are broken. Maybe we have to repair them, but in this weather we were not allowed to go out. There is a... I think it's a black flag, I don't know. It's like 6 to 10 meter waves on the sea. As you can see, it's very rough. The 
port is closed for all vessels in all directions. During the heavy weather it was very unpleasant to stay in the marina. The boat rocked against the pontoon the entire time, which caused a lot of unpleasant noises and movement of the boat. Sleeping became almost impossible, so we decided to anchor in the Douro River. This would be our first time anchoring. What an experience. Say what? We're going shopping. <laughs> We're going into Porto. Mm. The weather is... We're leaving the anchorage because it's too... Rolling. Yes. We're going left and right like crazy. It's not fun anymore. So we're going to find a more sheltered anchorage. We sailed up the Darrow River and under the famous Maria Pia bridge. So let's hope we fit underneath the bridge. It was exciting and also a bit thrilling. <laughs> it's very hard to see from here. Normally we should be okay, but it's uh, still quite exciting. Of course, we knew the bridge was high enough, but from Ooh, underneath it looked like we didn't have much space left. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay, yeah? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yay! <laughs> we fit. <laughs> Whew. And then there was the anchoring in the river. With a high wall on one side and constant boat traffic on the other, we had to anchor at the exact right spot. Not easy with the current at that moment, so we had to try several times. I was especially worried about hitting the wall at night, so I slept with one eye open and was very surprised when our boat turned during the night because of the changing tide. We did not think it would have an influence here up the river. But we had anchored well, so all was safe. And the next days were amazing. The view from our boat was wonderful and we were so close to the city. As the weather cleared a bit, we had a few fun days in the historical center of Porto. Nova's first time in the dinghy! Yay! We strolled through the steep streets of Porto and walked all the way up to the cathedral. The views are beautiful up there. We visited the market and drank some delicious hot chocolate at Chocolateria das Flores. And we visited Liam's favorite place, Livraria Lello, one of the most emblematic bookshops in the world. We had only planned for a quick stop in Porto, which turned out to be 17 unforgettable days. But as soon as the weather was favorable, we left for the south. Another storm would follow and we needed to be in Portimao to get our sail drive repaired. We stocked up on some delicious port wine and the typical Portuguese sardines before leaving on our three-day sailing trip to Portimao in the south of Portugal. Make sure you don't miss it by subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching!